We're here in Singapore at Solana Breakpoint 2024, chatting with the founder, Dev, from yep. Spaceman Gaming. I have no idea what Spaceman Gaming is, which is great. Can you give us a 30 second, explain like I'm five? Pitch? Yeah, it's very simple. So uh, if you're a video game streamer, uh, streaming is a very top heavy industry. Uh, basically, uh, Twitch clears something like 3 billion in revenue, but only about 20% or less of people actually make any money on Twitch. Um, it's because it's a donation-based industry. Uh, you like uh, watching your favorite streamers play video games? What if you could play with them for a price? Uh, you can monetize your audience and say, hey, I'm playing Call of Duty tomorrow, 4 to 6 p.m. I have four slots available. Who wants to play with me? $10 a ticket. Cool. And this is on the, on the blockchain? Yeah, although I don't like that question or statement because um, it's not, a lot of people uh, frame uh, applications as crypto apps. We're a consumer app. We just happen to use crypto because it, ma it makes uh, our scaling and infrastructure make sense. They can pay in with a credit card or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually one of the things we're proudest of is our user experience. Yeah. Um, we use TipLink for uh, sign-in, so you only need a Google account to create, a, to create an account. Yeah. Uh, and then when a consumer is going to go purchase something, they can use USDC or a credit card anywhere in the world. Yeah, nice. And when did this, this is already live. Uh, it's going to be live soon, so we're code complete. Uh, my goal at Breakpoint right now is that I'm working uh, to shore up uh, deals with uh, like content creators. Uh, so when we do launch the platform, it feels lively that there's a lot of like day one launch partners. Nice. If that makes sense. Do you have a, an ETF that you're allowed to say or when you're wanting to soft launch maybe? Uh, probably like two, three weeks. Wow, uh, soon. What was like the biggest uh, challenge you've, you've had actually building this? Uh, not building it, but one of the challenges with uh, raising for it in crypto, there's a difference between uh, financialization and speculation. A lot of people think that if it's in crypto, it has to be speculative. There's nothing about our product that is speculative. And so it's, it's financialization and monetization, but there's no token. There's no way to gamble on this product. Right. And so it's been hard to get investors interested without a token, okay. uh, Web3 investors. Gotcha. Now, thankfully, we have great partners like Coliseum and et cetera. We're excited about all of this. Um, but yeah, that's probably been the hardest thing, trying to convince, uh, convince Web3 investors that you don't need a token to build a consumer-facing product. So, um, what are you most excited for that's not your own project? Uh, one of the things, the reason I build on Solana is uh, Solana has the only ecosystem where people are thinking about building consumer products. Um, I think uh, projects like uh, Helio, which is a mobile, yep. uh, projects like Drip, yep. which is a collectible uh, system, uh, things like that really excite me because they're, try they're trying experiments in the space and I don't think I've been tried yet. Uh, you know, so I think those things are really exciting to me. What's your favorite Solana meme coin? Monk. Monk? Good. And bullish or bearish in the next six months in crypto? Um, incredibly bullish because I think the market is bearish. Right. So the, to, to quickly expand on that, um, I think that the best work happens when price action goes down. Okay. <laughs> and you are a bit of an OG, you've been in crypto since 2013. 2013, yeah. So. Not a financial advice, but there's, a, there's an OG's advice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a developer, so like for me, the price doesn't really matter. I yeah. build because I love the space and I really want to contribute to it. And I think that when the price action goes down, more people like me appear. When the price action goes up, less people like me appear, and you're more crowded by people that are there really just to make money. You have a personal, uh, personal story on, on how crypto has helped you. Did you want to go into that? Yeah, yeah. So. One of the things I talk about, so I'm an immigrant. Um, after 20 years, I got my US citizenship this year. Congratulations. Um, thank you. It's been a big big thing because uh, I had an Indian passport before this. So I, I, I'm in crypto, so we, you know, we travel a lot and I have to get visas everywhere I go. Yeah. And for the first time with a US passport, I can just impromptu decide that I want to come to Singapore. It's been very nice. Mm -hmm. But while I was, while I was uh, you know, being an immigrant, uh, one of the things that people don't talk about is as an immigrant, oftentimes you don't have a safety net. You don't have this ability to fail what your peers do. If I fail, there's a real chance that I get deported to India. Not deported, but like, I, I, you know, I have to go back to my country. What crypto has allowed me to do is given me the financial safety net that my, that my family sometimes couldn't, my parents couldn't, uh, my community couldn't, um, and allowed me to fail, which is I think one of the greatest things you can give to a young person. Uh, the ability to fail and be able to pick themselves back up and try again. And that has brought me great resilience in my life and I really appreciate, like that's why I love crypto. What kind of advice would you want to give? So I'm going to give a little bit of an anecdote. It's, okay. it's not a short story. Well, it'll be five seconds. I, 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 let's, let's hear it. So the greatest thing that happened to me was at Consensus 2 in New York, I got to see Hamilton original, uh, original cast. This was when Hamilton, the musical, was like the biggest thing in the world. 
I'm a huge Hamilton fan. I love Hamilton. Never thought I'd be able to afford to go there and see it. Because at crypto, I'm not gonna tell the whole story, I was able to win two tickets to see Hamilton. Nice. And at that point in my life, I was a college student, didn't have any money. It was a fluke how I got to New York. It was a fluke how I got, it wasn't a fluke. It was hard work, but yeah. like, you know, it was, it was a very like amazing thing that this was happening. And I had in my life a choice to make. Do I sell those tickets and pocket that money and have more money in my life than I would ever experience at that time, right? I broke college kid. Yeah. Those tickets were worth $5,000 a piece. Whoa. $10,000 as a for a freshman or a sophomore in college. That is a lot of money. Um, or I could uh, go and see Hamilton, something that I adored and loved. And in that moment, I chose the experience over the money. And I think a lot of people in crypto chase the money over the experience. And I, if I had to give any advice, it's like you can't take it with you. Right. And, and use, like, don't, don't spend money for the sake of spending money, but use it to enrich your life in a way that brings you joy. Love it. Now, if someone wants to follow you on Twitter, what's your... Spaceman Dev on everything. And what is Spaceman Gaming's Twitter? Uh, Spaceman Gaming. Awesome. Yeah. That's our little bit of Alpha from Breakpoint 2024. Thanks, Dev. Thank you. Pleasure.